Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sidekar. In this video, I'm going to compare the iQOO 9 SE device versus iQOO Neo 6 device. Yes friends, finally the official confirmation has been come from the iQOO team that they're going to release the iQOO Neo 6 5G smartphone in the Indian market very soon. A lot of users are in this kind of confusion that should they buy the iQOO 9 SE at this moment or not. The main reason is because right now there's a sale going on and 4000 rupees discount you're getting and slightly good exchange value also val slightly increased as you can see before it was 16,000 now it became 18,000 so on this condition few of the users they are kind of really confused should they buy this process this phone or should they wait for the iQOO Neo 6 that's what I thought of clarifying two doubts between these both phones exactly which is the best one so first thing is that there are a couple of changes which has been happened in the iQOO Neo 6 5G smartphone so first thing regarding the processor the processor will be Snapdragon 870 and Snapdragon 888 processor which is the same kind of Snapdragon 870 processor which is present in the iQOO 7 device so same processor gonna present in the iQOO Neo 5G uh, smartphone as well that's what we can actually expect because till now there is no, no such rumors about this processor what they're gonna reveal but we are expecting Snapdragon 870 there are another model which can be expected which is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor but if you ask me is comparing with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor this Snapdragon 888 processor is really a good one but if they bring the Snapdragon 870 processor in this device then Snapdragon 870 will be slightly good option i would say because of uh, stable performance and less heating problems and not draining much battery as well so when it comes to the battery backup the iQOO neo 5g smartphone will be having 4700 mAh of battery capacity Apart from that, you will be seeing the battery capacity about 4,700 and fast charging of 80 watts fast charging in the iQOO Neo 6 5G smartphone. Slightly better uh, fast charging and slightly better improved battery backup. So this iQOO and SE has got uh, 4,500 and 66 watts charging. This phone can charge in 40 minutes. So maybe with the 80 watts, the phone can charge kind of close to 35 minutes. Nothing much huge difference you're going to notice in charging speed, but battery backup maybe slight difference you will notice because of little bit kind of more battery backup capacity. So charging and the battery backup is another area which got slightly better in the iQOO Neo 6 5G smartphone. That's something you should know about this device. Next thing is about the display. Both phones they do have same 120Hz uh, AMOLED panel display. Nothing much huge difference because within the display as well. And 39 minutes of peak brightness level that's also possible in the iQOO Neo 6 uh, 5G smartphone. So overall the screen size everything is pretty same. So display wise you're not going to notice much difference between these both mobile phones iqon 9 se and the iqon neo 6 5g smartphone and already the phone is listed in the aliexpress as well if you want to know about the design these are the design looks like on the back span back panel of the iq uh, neo 6 so iqon neo 6 se is a china variant and iqon neo 6 we are expecting in the indian version as well with the same kind of features present within this both phones exactly and the camera is of 64 megapixel camera we can notice and 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro sensor and this one um, we did get the specifications like this phone will be having samsung which is uh, the sony in the iqon neo iqon 9 se which is a sony sensor so there might be some slot changes about the camera thing and front camera is of 16 megapixel camera which is present in the iQOO Neo 6 device. So overall friends, if you ask me, what are the advantages for the iQOO Neo 6? Uh, which is the price will be advantage. So it might be the price slightly kind of less as well because the Chinese price started around uh, $297 as you can see. So 1,199 yuan and 8 GB and 2 GB you can see the price as well how much it got started. So if you need to think about the base variant 297 because which starts around 23,000 rupees the base variant that is what the price in the chain so if you try to add some extra maybe 4,000 or 5,000 the price will definitely come down below iQOO 9 SC device that's what we can actually expect regarding the price range so I'm expecting the price may be around close to 27,000 rupees or 26,000 rupees for the iQOO Neo 6 5G smartphone that is what my expectations are but definitely friends there are a couple of advantages as I said the battery capacity is more fast charging is more and next thing is about the Snapdragon 870 processor and this phone gonna release with that Android 12 out of the box, iQOO Neo 6 and more 5G band, same thing. So dual speaker setup, everything is going to be same. But if you ask me Snapdragon 888 processor or Snapdragon 870 processor, I will prefer the Snapdragon 870 processor because that's pretty good because we got to know about the Snapdragon 888 heating issues and because of that battery draining issues. So 100% I'll try to recommend you guys go for the Snapdragon 870 which is well tested and well powerful enough as well. 
I think we do require only the Snapdragon 870 kind of performance, not more than that. That's pretty good, stable, maintaining low temperatures and not draining much battery as well. That's what my expectations are, friends. And definitely, I'll try to ask you guys to wait for the price. If the price of this phone, iPhone Air 6, if it gets more than this iPhone and SC, which is not possible, but if it gets, then you can think of this device and another thing is that as i said still there's no information about snapdragon 870 or snapdragon 8 gen 1 we need to wait for the confirmation so meanwhile let's assume that we'll be having only snapdragon 870 and based upon that only i did give this review so 100 percent i'll try to uh, ask you guys to wait for the ico neo 6 5g smartphone and there is only one advantage which is the sony sensor which has been there in this uh, device and we are seeing the samsung sensor in the ico neo 6 i think if they are releasing the snapdragon 870 version meanwhile sending off friends thank you for watching apart from that i did not notice much kind of difference so performance difference battery and charging speed difference and the camera is different so apart from that there is nothing at all uh, any specifications got different between these both phones until then sending off friends thank you for watching meanwhile bye